The 44th Annual American Indian Council Pow Wow continued today at Montana State University. And MTAN's Medeiros Bab takes us to the Brick Breeding Fieldhouse, where this year the theme of the Pow Wow hit home, especially for women. First you hear the pounding of the drums. Then comes the singing voices calling the dancers in. No matter the age or the tribe, thoughts begin to fade away with each step. I don't, I don't have pain, you know, I, everything that is bothering me or heavy or, you know, if there's anything going on, it, it's completely gone. Like, I really come into the circle so that way I can clear my head, um, I can heal. The tradition filling the room makes many feel right at home. But the meaning of this specific powwow is more than just a celebration. The theme is murdered and missing indigenous women and girls, an issue that impacts everyone in this circle. And actually one of my friends said the most heartbreaking thing to me before. She said, um, she said, if I ever go missing, know that I put up a fight. And that honestly like really made me emotional when she heard, when I heard her say that. <laughs> I'm 19 years old. We're 19. We're freshmen in college and we are like worried about our lives. Alicia Fisher, along with some of the other dancers, painted red hands on their mouth to bring awareness to an issue that has been silenced for too long. When is it going to stop? When are we going to like feel safe, like just walking to the store or something? Or like just jogging down the street? Like, I don't know. It's a problem that doesn't have a solution yet. But hand in hand, one thing holds true. United in this circle, they are stronger together. In Bozeman, Medeiros Bab, MTN News. The Pow Wow Grand Entry will also take place tonight at 6 p.m.